Right now we're going to finish off section H from chapter 21. All we're going to do with this section is substitute what we know. So we've got some information, we've got equations that they're giving you. So we have cosine negative theta is the same as cosine theta. Where does that come from? If you look at the unit circle, if this is cosine negative theta down here, this is positive theta. That angle is negative theta, that angle positive theta. So the values that I get are based on x. So they're the same right there. Now for sine theta, you get this. So negative theta is here. So then negative sine is over here. So I get that. So those are the two angles that make those equivalent. So following that, I also have these other two rules. Cosine 90 minus theta is sine theta, or you can look at it as pi over two minus theta. And sine 90 minus theta is cosine theta. So I use these four little equations to help me solve some of these problems. The first one we're gonna look at, or cosine pi over two minus theta minus three sine theta. Well, to simplify this, it would be to change this. And from what I'm looking at, I can tell that cosine pi over two minus theta is sine theta. So I replace that with sine theta. So that gives me four sine theta minus three sine theta, which this expression then simplifies to just sine theta because 4 minus 3 is 1. And that's it for that. The next one, same deal, try and figure out what information we have and what we need to do. So I've got the negative sign, negative theta showing up there. Well, that means I have negative sine theta. So I'm going to replace it with 5 sine theta minus two times negative sine theta. So th it's important to put this part in brackets because this gives me a negative times a negative, which then converts this to positive two sine theta. And two and, and five give me seven sine theta. As much confusing a confusion at as we've had from section E. There is all of H taken care of with a couple examples. They don't get much more difficult. They do need you to pay attention and I don't know, that go, it should go on a cue card and there's a few other things on cue cards that we've gone through in the chapter. There's a lot of information that needs to be applied and the only way to start to understand what is need to be used when is to do the examples. So hopefully that's helpful. I'll see you tomorrow.